All right, working on the Turbo Camaro again. Just wanted to update you guys on the brakes. So I did get the new master cylinder. Um, just got it installed probably about 30 minutes ago. And actually, like I was talking about, I redid these lines. Still want to add a couple uh, straps to hold them down a little better. But got the new lines in, got the new master cylinder in. Went ahead and I bled the master cylinder on the bench before installing it. And then I left this line loose and this line loose. So front brakes, rear brakes. And basically had uh, Jamie push down on the brake pedal. So we're pushing any of the air out of this line out with the line loose till it goes all the way to the floor. Then I tighten those up and went ahead and bled blood the brakes from there and that actually worked really really well I had almost no air in the rear and just a little bit in the front I was really impressed on how well that went and the brake pedal is great now so the larger bore more volume master cylinder worked out perfect I'd say the pedal is honestly it feels identical to what it did before I upgraded the rear brakes so that's perfect. I want it exactly like how it was before. So if you do have four piston calipers front and rear, you will need the strange larger bore master cylinder. It's a one, one, two, five bore. So an inch and an eighth. Yeah, an inch and an eighth. So just a heads up there. Um, like I said in the other video, that was a BMR kit. That was like, uh, I don't know, eight, 10 years old, something like that. I don't know, more than that. It was like 13 or 14 years old. But the BMR kit does come with the smaller bore, which is a one inch and 30 thousandths bore. And the other one's 100 thousandths larger. And basically that does make the difference. So happy to find out the brake pedal is now good. Um, I've got a few little straps that I want to add to the rear brake lines. Something like this, but I haven't decided... These guys are plastic, they're perfect, but I don't know how well I trust them. These guys are metal, but they're a little bit too large. So I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit, but it's really, really close. Um, like I said in the other video, we started it up, made sure the tranny didn't have any leaks, checked the tranny fluid, things like that. So just a few more things and we'll have it all back together. The next step, as far as this project goes, is gonna be that fuel pump upgrade. I'm really thinking I'm going to go ahead and order that 7 gallon per minute pump from Aeromotive, the new brushless pump. So that's what I'm debating still. Um, I need to just pull the trigger and order it, but I'm being cheap and holding off still. But I'm sure I'll end up ordering it here pretty soon. But that'll probably be the next thing, the next video we do. Um, I need to mess with the GTO a little bit. That's over here still. Honestly, everything's good with it, but I just want to check fluids and kind of go through it and yada yada. But yeah, that'll be in another video. But hopefully this helps you guys. If you do upgrade your brakes to the strange dual piston rear, dual piston front, you got to have that large bore master cylinder. And that did make the difference. So hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, just go ahead and comment and I'll get back with you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep it saucy.